Hello, this is Professor Alung from Purdue University, and today I want to tell you about uh, nanobiosensors. Uh, of course, all of us have these five sensors, and uh, yet science really didn't progress until we could sort of broaden the sensors or we could see farther by using microscopes and telescopes. And today, of course, using the Hubble telescope, we can see the farthest reaches of the galaxy. And uh, using a microscope, you can see the inner life of a bacteria. Now, the types of sensors I'll be talking about is not something that you daily see regularly in your doctor's office, but rather these are new class of sensors which are extraordinarily small. In fact, as small as some of the molecules that we are after, like bacteria or the DNA or the cancer uh, molecules. And in fact, some of these are a million times smaller uh, than a tennis ball, for example. Now, we'll be interested in particular with on electronic biosensors. And there are three types of electronic biosensors that we'll be focusing on. Now, the reason we are particularly interested in electronic biosensors is because they can all be integrated on electronic platforms such as your iPhone. And therefore, the data can be integrated and the doctor can essentially monitor them. Now, we'll be focusing on the fundamental principles. We'll not be thinking so much about how they are made, but rather how they operate. And I will explain the fundamental principles of their operation and their sensitivity limit. In particular, what we will find it remarkable uh, is that the importance of geometry. For example, a planar sensor in the old days is nowhere as sensitive as a nanoware sensor or a nanosphere sensor. And you will understand why. Now, after you have taken this course, uh, you will be able to organize that everything that you see in the literature in a much more fundamental way because you understand the physics of those sensors much more clearly. Uh, you will be able to explain to anyone that you see that why these sensors are so extraordinarily sensitive. It's like a princess uh, uh, sensitive to the pea. Or if you, uh, it's like finding a single grain of salt in a hundred Olympic sized pools, but only within an hour. So this is how sensitive modern sensors are. You'll be able to put them together in an integrated circuit and see how they work together. And finally, the holy grail about how to put these sensors on organs so that they can be monitored in situ. It will be a lot of fun. So I hope you'll join me in my class. Thank you.